Hey guys, animal athlete Sean Smith here. So we just finished up a back workout. Um, so for me, I always love training back. Nothing says I'm a bodybuilder like having a huge, wide, thick back. I started off with pull-ups. I usually always incorporate pull-ups into my back routine. Uh, for me, they just give me really good whip. Um, I always get a really good pump from them. It's always, always a really good movement for me to warm up with, to get blood moving in the muscle. From there, I moved into some kind of a, a pull-down movement. Today, it was a wide, overhand grip pull down. Sometimes I'll do underhand, I'll do a neutral grip or a close grip sometimes, but I uh, usually always incorporate some type of pull down movement. Again, um, pull down movements are really important for width. From there, I always try to incorporate some type of free weight row into my routine. Um, today it was a one arm dumbbell row. I usually like to do one arm rows with barbells, but um, we have a little bit heavier dumbbells than I have at my gym, so I decided to do the dumbbell version today and connected really well with them. I also think it's important to incorporate unilateral type movements into your training, um, just because people tend to emphasize one side over the other, uh, whether that be legs, arms, or back. So incorporating a one-arm or like a one-legged unilateral type movement into each of your body parts, I think is important just so one side doesn't get more developed than the other. Training at this gym versus training at home. Um, this gym has really good equipment. Um, just from, I can just see from the build of the equipment how well, to, how well put together it is and each machine that I performed, I connected really well with. So actually, I think this gym is better set up than my gym at home. Um, I'm just kind of comfortable in my own gym since I obviously train there all the time. Um, so there's that aspect to it, but I don't really see a disadvantage uh, in training in this gym versus the one at home because I think the equipment is really good here. So I, I didn't have a problem at all getting a good uh, training session in. From there, we moved into a machine row. Now, typically for me, I usually like to stick to uh, the same exercises when I'm at my home gym. But when I travel around, I usually like to kind of try out uh, the new machines that I don't get access to. So we tried, I tried this really good uh, chest supported row today and uh, it felt really good and I connected really well with it. I kept my elbows high because I wanted to emphasize more of my mid-back development because with that one-arm row, I had my elbow tucked in, so that's gonna emphasize more of the lower lat. So I kept my elbows up high just to make sure I hit that area. We moved into some uh, cable pullovers. Uh, I felt this movement really well in my lower lats. I uh, got a really good pump from it. And we finished off with some neutral grip pull downs. Um, I think that was my sixth movement. Usually I'll do maybe about five or six movements um, in my back routine total. Um, some things I typically don't do in my back training are deadlifts and rack pulls. I know that's really popular um, to do in back routine or back training today. Um, I've never really gotten too much out of those movements. I do do deadlifts, but it's usually on my um, leg days. I do stiff-legged deadlifts. Um, so I don't want to overexhaust my posterior chain and my lower back area too much. So I usually leave those type of movements for uh, leg day training. But that sums up my back workout. Hope you guys liked it. Like and comment below. Thanks for watching.